Okay, okay, so we have breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, on the draft spectacular day of Thursday, April 29th, 2021. Adam Schefter on NFL Live just reported that. You want me to read it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Reigning MVP Aaron, Aaron Rodgers is so disgruntled with Green Bay Packers that he has told some within the organization that he does not want to return to the team, league, and team sources told ESPN on Thursday. More on NFL Live now. Okay, so Shefty is now reporting that Aaron Rodgers has told the Packers he's not happy with being a Green Bay Packer. What you heard there at the beginning of a reading is Ty Schmidt's soul leaving his body. The diehard Green Bay Packer fan now has to stare down a potential future without Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers. Now, will this be something that'll be able to be, you know, rekindled? Will a flame be able to be relit like what happened with Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll? Will Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers be able to get through this? Or will the fact that a long-term deal has not been struck and last year they traded into the first round to draft his replacement? Is this at the point of time? That this has all come to a head in Aaron Rodgers' Green Bay Packers is over. It sure feels like is that going to happen. By the way, did not know this was happening. No. This is not what I thought it was going to be. So whenever that thing pops up there, wild time to be alive. AJ, have you talked to Aaron Rodgers yet? And how much of this do you know of being accurate? And is this potential? What the hell is going on, you think? Well, I mean, I hate to... To, to kill anything for you, but I have not spoken to him about this. I don't know. I'm learning just like you from uh, from Schefter. But so if he, I'm just trying to think. Like if he tells the Packers he does not want to return, that's not a guarantee that he's not going to be in Green Bay next year. But it sounds like they have a lot to work through. <laughs> Ty, 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 what's going on, dude? I mean, you alienate the fucking guy. To, no wonder he doesn't want to fucking come back. He's done. It's over. That's the end of it. That's the end of it. Hey. When, you, when you say alienate, what do you mean by that? Every opportunity you've had to piss this guy off, they've done with bells and whistles. It's like, hey, you know, what can we do today to maybe, you know, get Rodgers the fuck out of here? Oh, I get it. Let's uh, let's call a press conference and say, hey, he's going to be our quarterback for the foreseeable future. But, you know, I mean, we don't know. Hey, let's not let's not give him any money. He doesn't have any guaranteed money left on his contract. Let's just kind of leave that sitting pat. He's not going to give a shit about that. He just won an MVP. What does he have to be mad about? I mean, it's just, you know, goddamn negligence from the top of the organization to the bottom. Uh, I don't blame the guy. It, it pains me to say it it hurts but i mean listen the writing's been on the wall for a while we've known this okay we've known that something needed it you got to do something you had to do something and they didn't do a goddamn thing so i don't blame him okay I don't blame him. okay and that's ty obviously uh immediate reaction there in the moment hey ty you're gonna be all right, dude. It's all right, Ty. Ty, yeah. it's gonna be all right, Ty. I okay. I don't know about the Packers. I don't know about the Packers and Aaron Rodgers. Oh, but if he's gone, they're gonna fucking stink for a it, long time. And I do believe that is the fear of a lot of Packers fans. Yeah. Is okay. I think Aaron Rodgers has potentially been covering up a lot of uh, maybe warts or things like that. Devontae Adams also does not have a long-term deal either, right? So Aaron Rodgers has told people with any organization he's not happy being a Green Bay Packer. What does that mean? Who did he talk to? This would be a cool time to have Aaron Rodgers call into the show joining us now ladies and gentlemen <laughs> oh god could you oh, that'd be awesome for that's, a second there hey that's fucked up i did what was the more on nfl live there that Schefter referred to at the end of his tweet does anybody know do we have any Still, idea uh there was a tweet sent in he adam Schefter said the that article that i sent in yeah packers gm coach and ceo mark murphy have flown out multiple times to meet with aaron Rodgers and convince him to come back and Rodgers quote has not budged on his stance Oh shit! So hey, read the article. Read the article too, Connor. The the article's got a lot of what Shefty just said on NFL Live. It's over. You don't have to read the article. It's over and done. I'll read the article. He's gone. Here we go. I would like to know. This He's is gone. insane. What a wild time to be alive. Uh, here's the article. Okay, can you zoom out on this thing? We'll read this thing. Uh, Adam Schefter, zoom in a little bit more there. Reigning MVP Aaron Rodgers is so disgruntled with the Green Bay Packers that he has told some within the organization that he's not want to return to the team league and team sources told ESPN on Thursday. The Packers are aware of his feelings, concerned about them, and have had team president Mark Murphy, general manager Brian Gutekunst, and 
and head coach Matt LaFleur each fly out on separate trips to meet with Rodgers at various points this offseason, sources told ESPN. As we've stated since the season ended, we are committed to Aaron in 2021 and beyond, Gunter Kutz told ESPN. Aaron has been a vital part of our success, and we look forward to competing for another championship with him leading our team. Rodgers has not budged this offseason, but neither have the Packers, who have made it known they are not interested in trading Rodgers anywhere. The San Francisco 49ers called the Packers on Wednesday night. A source told ESPN in the Los Angeles Rams inquired about Rodgers in January before they got Matthew Stafford. The Packers quickly dismissed the Rams overtures. The source said the Packers have offered to extend Rodgers' contract, sources told ESPN. Whoa. Rodgers is unhappy for a variety of reasons, with some of it dating back to last year's draft when the Packers didn't inform him before trading up to draft a quarterback with their first round pick. Some took this as a sign that his days in the Green Bay could be numbered. He also is at a different point in his personal life. Having recently got engaged to actress Shailene Woodley, Rodgers also has hosted Jeopardy and said it would be a dream. We could have got quoted there to become full time host. Yep. Okay, dude. On draft night, the Packers' biggest issue isn't who they land, but whether they can keep the former NFL MVP. Did not know Schefter was like a writer like that. I thought oh, he was I, just a, uh, a newsbreaker. What's that? I guess. Um, this is very fascinating now. Oh, that's Rob Domofsky also. Domofsky uh, has contributed to this report. Shout out to Rob Domofsky. AJ, your thoughts on it? I did not know any of this was happening. This is wild to me to think that the Packers have gone out there in Green Bay, and, and Aaron's like, not. Nah. But it seems like whoever Schefter's getting his information from certainly is painting the picture as if the Packers were trying to do this thing, and maybe it was uh, uh, too little too late. I don't know. I, I'm excited to hear how this whole thing is going to pan out here eventually, probably over the next couple hours, I'd assume. Yeah, so the timing, though, why, are we, why is this coming out right now, do you think? Yeah, because you would think that came from the team side there, that particular yeah, information. I don't there. know though. But if Aaron wants out, it, it, I guess the team they could leak it out to. So like, if they feel, I don't know. I just feel like the Packers. How could they? There's no way they're giving up on us. Saying, hey, yeah, we're getting rid of them. They're gonna do whatever they can to try to keep them. Did that not sound slanted though from the Packers organ? It sounded like there was information from the Packers, right? They've it, done everything they can. To, we each yeah. flew out separately, and yeah. we dismissed it quickly, and everything. Maybe they're making like a large announcement, like, hey. Uh, to everybody that is calling or thinking there's a problem going through Sheffield, we are not trading Aaron Rodgers. And who knows how Aaron feels. But also, we don't know why that information is being leaked by whoever at this particular Atta point. Boy, Dove! Dove climbing. Boy, Dove! Dove, Dove. climbing at, at <laughs> NFL oh, underscore Dove climbing. He was sitting on this, ready for this. Bill Belichick with Aaron Rodgers in New England. Would Bill Belichick give the Green Bay Packers enough for them to get off their stance that they've allegedly been on via Adam Schefter's uh, uh, article there on ESPN.com that they aren't budging. This is fascinating, Ty. Fascinating times here in Green Bay. And Aaron Rodgers coming off an MVP season potentially is like, nah, I ain't fucking going anymore. I'm done with it. I'm tired of it. There's been a lot of conversation. And Ty pointed out there before we read the entire thing. There's been a lot of situations where previous GMs or people around the NFL have gone... If we had fucking Aaron Rodgers, right, we'd be doing ba 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 ba, and I would assume that somebody has told Aaron, like, "Hey, you, do you not think it's bullshit? Like, what's going on with Tom down there? Like, what they're doing to build up that team around Tom Brady to make him? He's probably gonna win a couple more Super Bowls." Yeah. Do you see what Patrick Mahomes is getting over there? You, yeah. You've met Patrick Mahomes, obviously. You guys do State Farm commercials together. He's a good guy. He's a good. Guy. He's just doing everything you're doing. Do you see what they're doing in Kansas City? They just got him ten fucking weapons. The team's ready to go. They're going all in for this thing. Do you see what you guys have done? Nothing really to go all in in this very new football world. Now, if you're a Packers fan, you can say, "Hey, this is how the Packers have always done it. We've always had sustained success." But with Aaron Rodgers, with his contract looking the way it was looking going into the season, they let it happen. After them trading up to say, hey, get the fuck out of town, too, with Jordan Love. Here's the guy that's going to replace you. And then watching what's going on around the NFL, you could see how Aaron's potentially pissed off. I just didn't know that he was pissed off because I don't think any of us had ever heard that. Really. Yeah, I mean, the writing's kind of been on the wall. Like, uh, I basically said that verbatim last year when they drafted Jordan Love. You know, it's like, hey, you know, whether he says it or not, like, obviously this is going to piss the guy off. And, and even if you take away, like, the, hey, not getting all these weapons or whatever, like, if you treat someone like shit for long enough and kind of just like, you know, drag their name through like the, the press and everything like that, expect you treating the guy like he's a C lister, a D lister when he just won an MVP, like, guess what? Uh, that's, that's going to rub some people the wrong way. So I don't think, I don't know. I mean, obviously it's, it's, 
I definitely did not expect to see this today, but it's not like I'm completely shocked and taken aback by it. Okay.